class. I am so glad you're joining me today. We're going to do our calendar page for the next day, which is today, and we're on Monday. So I'm going to go ahead and start tracing my April, and it's April. April. So nice and neat. Get your pencil out and be tracing with me. I hope you had a great weekend and you got lots of rest. That's one thing I think we can all get a lot of. Okay, April. And today let's get our schoolhouse out. So here's our little schoolhouse. We've got April. April, and remember this little zero starting at the beginning is just a placeholder. It does not count towards the day number. It just holds the place. So 06 is still 6. So today is Monday. Two cool guys hanging out at the end. Monday, April 6. I like that you're saying it with me if you didn't. Get a chance to say it with me. Go ahead and talk with me and talk right to the recording as we're doing it together. It's okay. You can talk right on out loud to me. Okay, here we go. We're going to start at the top, angle down, and then when we touch the bottom there, we're going to make a tummy or a circle that comes all the way up, touches the dotted line, and reaches again. It's similar to a G, but it's more elongated. Okay, so April 6th, if you notice, been under our line. I'm going to fix that. Okay. Just fix my six a little bit. Make it a little bit nice and neat. Okay. On our year, we are in the year 2000. What is it? That's right. 2020. So we're going to start with, it's 2020, so 20 starts with what number? I heard one of you say it, two. So start just below the top, reach up, touch the top, angle and slide around, two, zero the hero, this is like a long egg, two, and zero the hero, 2020. If you notice, my numbers are still fitting into the boxes top to bottom and left to right. We're fitting the whole number right in there. Okay, in our digital date, remember we've been talking about what number April is for our month, January, February, March, April. So April is what number? Four. Okay, so down and across and down again. Good job. So we have April, today's day is April 6th. Again, we're going to angle down, put the tummy on, and meet it back in, just like that. Okay, in our digital date, it is the last two numbers of our date, of our year, rather. So 20, 20. So what number do we use in the digital date for our year? right 20 so our 20 starts with what number again yes a two so we're going to angle down and zero the hero fitting it nice and neat in our box okay we have been in school for all right let's get our big base 10 so here is our number what we've been in school for. And we're going to do that so we have one, 100, remember, count with me, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. I can hear you. Do it a little louder, you got this. So 110, 120, 120. 30, and we're going to count on from 130, 131, 132, 133, 134, 135, 136. We have been in school for 100. 
136 days. That's a long time. Okay, so in our hundreds place, remember we have one big blue 100, one. We have three, one, two, three, in our tens place, three tens. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six ones. 136. We have been in school for 136 days. So we're gonna fill in on our paper if you have done that already while I was talking, that is absolutely fine. We're gonna to start to, on these recordings, I will go a little bit quicker. So you can pause the recording at any time if I'm going too fast for you, and that's just fine. So we're gonna do nice, neat one, around a tree, around a tree, and that is how we make a three, and then our six angled down with a tiny on it. Okay, so in our hundreds place, this is our hundreds place, our tens place, and our ones place. We have one is in our one hundreds place. So one, one hundred, our big blue one. We have three in our tens place. So three of the green tens around the tree, around the tree. That's how we make a three. And how many ones do we have in the ones place? That's right, we have six. Six ones. 136, and remember we don't say and, because and makes a decimal point, and we don't have a decimal point there. Okay, let's talk about the days of the week. And we'll do, in a different video, I'll do the days of the week song with you so you can practice that. Okay. Yesterday was, what was yesterday? Yesterday you got to sleep, hopefully, and play, and you didn't have to do schoolwork, hopefully. It was, hold on, I gotta find it. There we are, I found it. Okay, yesterday was, Monday, we've got our secret story, our two cool guys on the end. And remember, Monday starts with a capital letter Y. Because it's the name of the day of the week, just like for Spokane, it's the name of the city. And if we were talking about Daria, hi Daria, Daria's name, it's her name, it starts with D, D and it's a capital letter. So Monday is an M and it's the name of the day of the week, so it starts with a capital letter. So we're gonna start at the bottom, reach up to the top, down to the dotted line, up to the top, down to the bottom line. Our O stays from the dotted line and all around. It stays in the dotted line and our bottom line, nice and neat. N, start at the dotted line, straight down, put a thump on. D starts top line to bottom line, and its little belly points towards the end. Okay, and our A, just like an O, and then we're gonna put a tail on it. Y starts do um, dotted line, go at an angle. It makes like a V to start, but we have a longer tail. M and A, Monday. Okay, 
We have a couple more fun things we get to do. We're going to do our equations in a minute, but first we have to read this sentence together. We've been reading this for a long time this year. The season is, and I'm so excited, it's going to start looking like the season right now. It's, it doesn't know whether it wants to rain or snow or be sunny or it is just goofy out there. So it's not winter. It's not summer. It's not fall. We are in spring. Spring. So go ahead, use your crayons, and color your spring flower any color you want. Remember, we're doing our neatest work. That doesn't mean that it is um, perfect. But if you want to color the whole box, please neatly color the whole box. Otherwise, try your very best and color <coughs> just the flower. Okay, now we're gonna do our equations. So remember the number we're making is today's date. So today is six. So our equations, we're gonna do three, has to equal six. Equals six. Equals six. So I hope you wrote these in <coughs> when you were doing your calendar. If you did different ones than me, that's okay. Just make sure that you're doing the right number to equal six. So we've been talking about donuts, but we're going to talk about something else today. We'll talk about, um, how about, we'll talk about um, chocolate bars. So Mrs. Duffield likes chocolate bars too. So we have to equal six. So when you're looking at six, we need numbers put together to equal six. So if you have your number line, that's one way you can use it. Another way you can use it is if you have, you can draw circles. Um, so for instance, I'll draw circles. So I'll have two candy bars. These will be kind of long looking candy bars. Two candy bars plus, and I need to do six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, two candy bars plus one, two, three, four, four candy bars equals six candy bars. So there's multiple ways we can do this to be able to come to our answer. I want you thinking, how do I add, and if you can think just with the numbers using your number line, that is a great way. Another way to think about it is we need to find six, so we're gonna take away numbers to find six. So I'm gonna show you what I mean. On our number line here, if I start with six and I take away, so six, oops, I can't do that, I have to start, so, so this doesn't work. If you take six and take away something, am I gonna have a number that's equal to six? Are there any numbers equal to, to six under six? No. Nope. So we gotta start with a number bigger. So let's start with 10. So I'm gonna put 10 first, so we'll put 10, and again, we're gonna eat our candy bars, so minus 10 candy bars, boy, I probably have a sick stomach. So cover your star, and we're gonna take away until we make it all the way to the six, and let's find out. 10 minus what number equals six? So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, 10 minus four equals six. I'm gonna do that again so that you can see what I just did. We picked a number bigger than six, here's our six, and we're gonna find out if we take away numbers from 10, what number do we need to take away to equal six? So we count down, cover up the 10, don't count the 10. We go one, two, three, four. So 10 minus four equals six. That was a, a big concept. We have never done it that way before, so hopefully you caught how I did that. Now we're gonna equal six again. I want you, I'm not gonna do this one. I want you to think, and you can either do an addition one, where you're doing some number plus some number to equal six, or a subtraction 
some number minus some number to equal six. So I want you thinking today on that. I did two. You can write these two down. Two plus four equals six. And 10 minus four equals six. So what equation are you gonna make to equal six? And then when I grade your paper, I'm excited to see what that's gonna look like. So the last thing we have to do, and if you need to pause this while you're working through that, that's fine. I'm gonna color my buddy and my A. glad that you joined me for Monday, April 6th calendar. I can't wait to see you tomorrow.